Hi again, just wanted to come to you with one more quick video for this week. I just want to talk a little bit about the literary analysis assignment here. So if you've taken a look at the assignment sheet, you already know that what I'm asking you to do here is to write a little, little mini essay. I'm still calling it an essay. So, um, so I would say, you know, maybe still have like an introduction and conclusion and stuff. Um, but this one's only like about two pages. So I'm calling it, this is going under a short writing assignment. Um, so that's kind of what, where it's going to end up in, in your grading. Um, so I just wanted to say a couple of things about what I'm looking for with this essay. The number one thing here is that it's still an argument essay. Um, I, I, I know that it, it might be the case that uh, in the past when you've had to write about a book or a play uh, or a novel or something, um, you might have had to write like a book report or a summary or something like that. Um, definitely not what we're doing here. What we're going to be doing is making an argument, an argument about what message you believe the episode of the show that you're going to pick is sending. We're looking at an example for this with the essay that I provided uh, about Pokemon and uh, the discussion that I think we're going to do on it. Um, so that's kind of an example of this, so definitely think about that as kind of uh, showing a framework for how to do this. But the most important things, you need a thesis, that's an argument. I believe that the, you know, the episode of this show is trying to show the audience whatever message you think it's trying to send. It could be any message, big or small. Um, obviously, the one in the sample we're looking at had to do uh, with like the, 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 the uh, animal rights and Pokemon, right? Um, so you want to just be making an argument of whatever message you think it's sending. It could be on any topic, like big or small, whatever it is. You just want to make sure that you're arguing that. One of the things that students will always say um, when I do literary analysis with them is, you know, well, isn't it all just entirely subjective? Like, isn't it just someone's opinion? Um, and Yes, like there is opinion in it, right? Like your argument should be your opinion of what message the story is sending. But just because it's an opinion doesn't, I don't, I don't think that means that we can say it means anything, right? I think there's still evidence and we can still have better or worse arguments. So even though you might think, well, anyone could look at a piece of art and have any argument about it, it's about how convincing your argument is. How much evidence do you have to back up what you're saying? Um, most of the evidence for this is going to come from the show itself. Uh, you should definitely have... Uh, descriptions of some of the scenes um, or dialogue but the important thing here and the way this is different than a book report is that every piece of summary that you include every uh, uh, dialogue or, or scene that you explain you need to connect it directly to your argument to your thesis so you shouldn't necessarily tell us what happens in the entire episode only tell us about the parts that are going to be important for your argument so you really want to look at it as evidence. You're only going to use the evidence that's helping your argument. So if there's something that happens in the episode, um, and maybe it's an important part of the episode, but it doesn't really uh, you know, show up in your argument in any way, you don't really need to talk about it. The point of someone reading this is to get uh, the argument about the message. It's not for them to know. Your, it's not your job to tell them uh, everything that the episode is about. So the best way to think about it is, is to start thinking about this um, is for whatever you pick, you want to ask the question, what message is it sending to the audience? What is the takeaway for the audience? The answer to that question will be your thesis. Um, so your thesis will be, I think the message they're sending is whatever you think. Um, and then you'll back it up with evidence and you'll explain to us, you know, why you're right. Uh, so it's not just a matter of opinion. There are, you know, you can make a strong, convincing argument here. Um, and then I think as long as you have that approach that you're making an argument about the message that it's sending, uh, you should be successful with this. And hopefully it'll be kind of fun. Uh, that's one of the reasons I was, I was having you guys do a cartoon. I think it's also interesting with cartoons um, because it's kind of the last thing that we would think about finding a message in. Like, you know, if you want certain, there's certain movies where, where you watch it and it, the message just kind of sticks out to you, right? Like more political movies or something like that. Um, but things about cartoons mostly made for children, we don't really think about it that way. But I think uh, when we do look at it with a critical eye, you know, being, being older now, uh, we can kind of see some of the messages that were being sent, and then kind of question of like, like what does it mean to send these kinds of messages to kids? Like, is that is that good? Is that kind of messed up? Um, one other point that I want to hit here is has to do with intention. A lot of students will say, well, you know, the authors didn't mean it that way, or uh, uh, you know, if we're looking at like SpongeBob for instance, oh well, you know, uh, Nickelodeon wasn't trying to send that message. They're they're just trying to make something fun for kids, right? And I, I understand why people say that, and I think you're right that they don't always intend to put these messages in there. But my question would be just like, why should I care what the author intended? You know, like, uh, uh, 
who are they to tell me uh, uh, what message is being sent by the piece of art. So I would look, the way I would look at literary analysis is not trying to figure out like what secret code the author put in there, but starting with the text or the show, starting with the piece of art and focusing more on the viewer and just saying, well, what message does it send to the viewer? So I, I would encourage you to focus more on like uh, how the audience is going to perceive a piece of art rather than how the person meant it, right? Because I, I, you know, I, I'm just skeptical of the idea that like the author should be able to totally control their work. Um, like w w one example I've run into with, with this is like, um, you know, I, I read all the Harry Potter books uh, when, when I was younger, and recently. Um, I, I heard this thing where J.K. Rowling, um, all, you know, separate from some of the other uh, strange things she said, um, that, that she said something that, that like, Dumbledore uh, had been gay in Harry Potter, uh, but, but there's not anything in the actual books that would make you think of that, right? So I'm kind of skeptical of, like, like, you know, does J.K. Rowling just get to tell us that that's how this character was? Like, you know, if you wanted to be that way, like, put it in the book, right? So um, I, I would encourage you not to think of yourself as trying to decode whatever the creator or the author meant, but more just looking at the piece of art and like, what's the message that the audience, that's sending to the audience. Um, I think that would be a good way to do this. So this is definitely confusing. I know this is hard. Um, email me some questions. Uh, and I would love to try to explain this further. Cause I, like I said, I know it's pretty difficult, but as long as you're making an argument, you're not just giving a summary. You're saying, here's the message I think it's sending. I think it'll come out pretty good. All right.